good good so we have this paper paper one of mathematics basic education certificate examination 2021 paper bc 2021 paper mathematics paper one we want to see how we can solve these questions question one to 40. so let's begin with the first one we have to simplify this expression um three multiply this when three multiplies this we get 15 a squared so 15a squared and when 3 multiplies this we'll get 60 plus 60 and this thing here i'm sure this is a and this is plus one i think there's a mistake there so when you expand this you get minus 2a squared then this will give us minus 2a then minus 6c over here now we have 6c here and we have we have negative 60 and positive 60 so that will give us zero then we have negative 2a squared and 15a squared so that will give us positive 13a squared minus 2a so if indeed that is the correction then the correct answer is this we have to make h the subject of the relation v is equal to pi r square a h so what are we to make the subject we have to make h the subject that means we need to isolate h so that all the other variables will be on the one side so let's divide both sides by pi r square by pi r square so this will cancel this so v over pi r square is equal to h so the correct answer is a we have to simplify this expression here so let's see how we can do that so first we need to do with the exponent so we have to half square means half times half so two into bracket half times half that's the meaning of half squared then plus half minus one so let's go if this cancels this we have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 minus 1. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. Half plus half is 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So the answer is B. We have to express 0 0.725 as a fraction in its lowest term. So this is 725 out of 1000. So we need to reduce this one. Mm, 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 mm. So let's go. Let's take five. How many times five go into 70? That'll be 14. We are left with two. So that two is 20 plus five is 25. Five into 25 is five. So five goes here. That will be. 200 times so we are left with 145 over 200 
instead of 5 can go 5 will go into 14 2 times 11 4 so that 4 is 40 plus 5 is 45 5 will go into 45 9 times so this this will give you 9 and 5 will go into 20 that will be 10 so 100 5 going to 20 is 4 times, so this will be 40. 40. So it means the final answer is 29 over 40. So the correct answer is C. Which property of arithmetic is shown in the equation? So let's briefly talk about them. So for the commutative property, if you have A plus B, and it's got to B plus A. And we say the operation is commutative. For associative, if you have a plus b plus c, so we have we add a plus b first. It will be the same as when we take a and add it to the result of b plus c first. So this is the associative property. The closure, closure. Let's say we take the set of the set of integers set of integers if you add an integer a to another integer b we will get an integer so another integer let's say c so a plus b is equal to another integer so two integers will add to give another integer so it means that the set of integers is closed under addition so for the distributive property if you pick a an integer then c an integer we can distribute this a will multiply b that will give you a b then a will multiply c that will be equal to a c so if you look at all this you can see that this is the one that is matching this one the a is 6 the x is b and the c is 5. And that will be equal to 6 plus x plus 5. So the correct answer is associative property. Priscilla's age is k years while Mary's age is b years. If Mary is 15 years older than Priscilla, which of the following statement is correct? So, Mary is 15 years older than Priscilla. So, Mary is equal to Priscilla's age plus 15. In other words, if you subtract 15 from Mary's age before, she will be the same year with Priscilla. So, we're told that Mary's age is B and and we're also told that Priscilla's age is K so if you want to make if we can we can bring the k here so b minus k will be equal to 15. so we send the 15 to the other side and bring the k here we get this so it means the answer is b minus k equal 15. the difference between their ages is 15 years so the correct answer is b We have to find the next two terms of the sequence. So to, to do this, we have to check the difference between the consecutive terms. So let's say between 2 and 5. What's the difference? It's 3. Then between 5 and 10, what's the difference? It's 5. Then between 10 and 7 what a difference is 7 so we were adding a sequence of numbers we added 3 first then we added 
5 then we added 7 so do you know what we are going to add next yes because this is forming a sequence this is forming a sequence 3 5 7 odd numbers so we add 9 then we add 11 then we add 13 and so on and so forth so we are going to add 9 to 17 and that will give us 26 then we'll add 11 to 26 and that will give us 37 so the correct answer is 26 and 37 so the answer is b given that x equal to 4 y equal to 7 evaluate 2xy plus 3 into bracket x plus y so we substitute 4 for x and 7 so let's do that whenever we see x we put 4 so 2x so 2 times 4 Wherever we see y, we put 7, so y, so 7, plus 3, the x is 4, and the y is 7. So let's simplify this. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times 7 is 56. Then we add it to 3 times 4 plus 7 is 11. So 3 times 11 is 33, so 56 plus 33. So that will give us 9 here, and that will give us 8 here. So the answer is 89. If A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, and B is equal to 3, 6, 9, 8, 12, 15, find the number of elements in A union B. So A union B is number of elements in A or B or both of them. So we have 1, 3, 1, 3, and we also have 5, and we also have 6, and we also have 7, and we also have 9, then we also have 11, then we also have 12, then we also have 13, then we also have 50, okay, 13 before 15. So how many elements are, are here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 elements. So the answer is C number of a union b number of element in a union b is equal to 10. okay so let's move on given that x equal 8 what type of angle is 9x plus 8 degrees so we are going to substitute 8 here so let's go 9 times 8 plus 8 degrees So 8 times 80, so 8 times 9 will be 72 plus 8. So that will be equal to 80 degrees. 80 degrees. 80 degrees is an acute angle. So that's it. So we have number 11. A bag contains five red and seven black balls. So what's the total number of balls now? Total number of balls is seven plus five, which is equal to twelve. What is the probability of picking a black ball? Probability of picking a black ball is equal to number of black balls over total so number of black balls is 7 the total is 12 so the correct answer is C
find the difference between the values of 2d squared and 2 times d squared. So 2d all squared, where d is equal to 3. So let's do that 2 times 3 all squared minus 2 times 3, only 3 squared. So this will give us 6 squared minus 2 times 9 squared is 3 squared is 9. So 36 minus 18. And this will give you 18. So the correct answer is P. Find the image of P negative 3, 5 when it is rotated through 360 degrees about the origin. So if you rotate an object in about uh, 360 degrees, it will come back to its original position. So if you start from if you start at P negative 3, 5, then it will go it will go so uh, it will go like that uh, and it will come back to P. So the P prime will fall on the P which is also going to be negative 3, 5. So the correct answer is negative 3, 5. Sorry, the options didn't come there. Express 7, 3, 5, 2, 1, 4, 6, 5, 8, correct to 3 significant figures. So 7, 3, 5, 2, 1, 4, 6, 3 significant figures. We start counting from the first non-zero digit. So 7 is non-zero. So one, two, three. The next digit we replace it by zero. So seven, three, five, zero. Because of the two, we couldn't run up this. So the answer is C. Use the mapping above to answer questions fifteen and sixteen. So what is the rule of the mapping? So we can see that you can see mostly you, are, you, you can check the difference the constant difference in the y constant difference the map is given by y equal a x plus b so a is equal to difference constant difference in y so the, the difference here is four 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 difference here is one 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 so Constant difference in y, 4, over difference in x, which is 1. So a is equal to 4 over 1, which is 4. Then b, to find b, you put a into the equation, y equal 4x plus b. Then you can put any value. You can, you can pick 1 and 5. So 5 for y, then 1 for x plus b. So... 5 minus 4 is equal to b. So b is equal to 1. So the root for the mapping will now become y is equal to 4x plus 1. So the correct answer is c. So you want to find the value of x when y equal 37. So to do that, you substitute, you substitute in the equation. So y equal 30, when y is equal to 37, we have, we put 37 for y, and we're going to find x, so 4x plus 1. So we make, we, we subtract 1 from both sides, so 37 minus 1 will be 36 is equal to 4x. Divide both sides by 4, so x will be equal to 36 over 4, so which is 9. The correct answer is x is 9. x is 9. So the correct answer is x equal x equal 9. So, 
I think that will be D or hot. Yeah. So the correct answer is D. Now we want to look at number 17. If P is having these elements and Q is also having these elements and P is equal to Q, find the value of K. So we compare the element in the set and see the one that is not there. So 16 goes to 16, 20 goes to 20, 4 goes to 4, then 12 goes to 12, then K goes to 8. So K is equal to 8. So the other is C. And now we want to see number 18. The area of a trapezium is 36 centimeters squared. Sorry, this question have not ended. So we don't know. Let's say the trapezium is like this. For mass, it is about the understanding. About the understanding that matters. So if the trapezium is like this, and let's say this is this is x the, the the height we don't know let's say the height is h and this one is let's say seven this is seven and this is two um, and we're told that the area is let's say this is uh, 11 this is 11 is 11 centimeters and this is let's say seven centimeters and we're told that the area is 36 centimeters squared and we're asked to find the h we know the area of trapezium is equal to half times the sum of the bases times the vertical height so 36 will be equal to half of B plus C, that is 11 plus 7 H. So in that case, we're going to have 36 is equal to half of 18, which is 9 H. So divide by 9, you get H to be 4. So I'm just using an example because the question is not complete. So that is it. Number 19, we have to solve this question here. 1 minus x divided by 2 is, little, is less than 4. Hmm. Okay, so we multiply both sides by 2 so that we'll get the, the question is 1 minus x over 2. It's less than 4. We want to solve this. So we multiply both sides by 2 by 2. So that this will cancel this. So we have 1 minus x is less than 8. Now, I'll make x a subject. So 8 minus 1 will become 7. So negative x is less than 7. Now, I'll divide both sides by negative 1 or multiply both sides by negative 1 so as soon as you do that you have to reverse the negative sign so it means x is greater than negative 7 Full of mistakes. So the the answer is x greater than negative seven. If this is the correct question. Now we want to look at number twenty. Number twenty. In the diagram, line A B is parallel to line P D. Find the value of x. So I'm going to transfer this 
120 here into this triangle it will be the same 120 degrees because because the two lines are parallel line a b is parallel to line b d so because they are parallel we have uh uh uh, uh. so because they are parallel we have co-interior angles co-interior angles so it means the 120 degrees and this angle here will be equal to 180 so this will be equal to 60 degrees because co-interior angles add up to 180. So if that is the case, then 60 degrees, sum of angles in the triangle, plus the 20 degrees over here, then plus the x will be equal to will be equal to 180. So 80 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees so x will be equal to 180 minus 80 and x will be 100 degrees if 2x minus 1 equal 5 find find the value of x so 2x minus 1 is equal to 5 so we add 1 to both sides so we have 2x is equal to 5 plus 1. So 2x will be equal to 6. Divide both sides by 2. By 2. So x equal 3. Xy bought a television set of 1500 Ghana cities. If she sold it at a profit of 20%, find the selling price. So we need to find 20% of 1500. So let's say the hundred goes here how many times? Fifteen times. Um the hundred goes there fifteen times, then we have the profit to be twenty times fifteen, which is three hundred. So if it is three hundred profit, then we have to add it to the thousand five hundred to get the selling price so the selling price is equal to 1800 can i see this on a map one third centimeter represents five kilometers if two towns ab are 18 centimeters apart on the map what is the actual distance between them so how many one third centimeters are in 18 centimeters that will be 54 one third centimeters in 18 centimeters so we multiply that 54 by 5 kilometers so that will give us 5 times 54 so let me go step by step we say one third centimeter represent five kilometers so we want to find how many uh, kilometers will be represented by 18 kilometers so we need to know the, the number of one third centimeters in 18 centimeters so how many are they we divide by one third and that will give me 18 times 3. So 3, 8, 24. Then 3, 1, 3. That 3 plus the 2 will give you 54. So you multiply the 54 by the 5. So 4, 5, 5, 4, 20. We have 2 left. 5, 5, 25. So 270 kilometers. If the average of 5,000, if the average of 5, 6, 7, and x is 8, find the value of x. So average simply means we are adding, we are adding all and dividing by the number of 
items. So one, two, three, four, five divided by five. And this is equal to this is equal to eight. So this one is not bad. The eight is not bad. The average of five, six, seven, and x. So we add all these and divided by the number of item four. And the result was eight. So we want to find x so it means 8 is equal to if you add 5 and 6 and 7 you will get 18 18 over 4 so 18 plus x over 4 now we cross multiply so 4 times 8 is equal to 18 plus x now 4 times 8 is 32 so 32 is equal to 18 plus x. So 32 minus 18. 32 minus 18. That will be. So 30 minus 18 will be 12. So 32 minus 18 will be 14. 14. Is equal to x. So the answer is b. Factorize this. So we have 3ax, the one common to them is 3a. So 3a out, then we are left with x plus 2 here. Then we factorize negative 1 here. Negative 1 is common to it, so we have x plus 2. Now we factor further to get this. So the correct answer is this. Kofi and Ama shared an amount of 3,000 in the ratio 2 is to 3. Find the amount received by Kofi. So Kofi's ratio corresponds to 2 over total ratio times the amount shared, 3,000. So 2 over 5 times 3,000. 5 goes into 30 and we times 6. So that means it will go into 3,600 times. So 2 times 600 will be 1,200. That is Kofi's share. The image P10 negative 3 when translated by the vector R is 4, 5. Find R. So what is added to 10 negative 3 to get 4 5 so to find x we form equations so this vector is the vector r so we form equations 10 plus x is equal to 4 so x will be equal to 4 minus 10. So x equal to negative 6. So negative 3 plus y is equal to 5. So y is equal to 5 plus 3. So y is equal to 8. So the vector is x, y is negative 6, 8. So then I see. Find the gradient of the line that joins the points A, negative 3, 5, and B, 7, negative 2. So gradient is given by M equal Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So let's say this is my X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So y2 minus y1 will be negative 2 minus 5 all over x2 minus x1, 7 minus negative 3. Remember that this negative is with this, but the minus here is in the formula. So that will be equal to negative 7 over 10 
over 10. We got 7 minus minus 3 over 7 plus 3, which is 10. So neg negative 7 over 10 is the correct answer. We want to simplify this, so we will collect LCM. So the 3y here is like over 1. So the LCM is 4. 1 goes into 4, 4 times, times 3y, 12y. Then 4 goes into 4 1 times. 1 times this will be minus 2 in, into bracket 2y minus 3. So we are going to expand. We get 12y minus 2y. Negative, negative will be positive. So plus 3 all over 4. 12y minus 2y will be equal to 10y plus 3 all over 4. So 10y plus 3 over 4. Divide 0 0.5445 by 0 0.09. So 0 0.5445 divided by 0 0.09. So let's go. 5445 over 1, 2, 3, 4. So over... 10,000 divided by 9 over 1, 2, so over 100. So 5, 4, 5, 4, 4, 5 divided by 10,000 times, we reciprocate the second fraction, 100 over 9. So this is easy to cancel. Now, 5 will go into 54 how many times? Mm, 6 times, right? Then 5 will go into 45. 9 times. So we have 69. 9 will go into... Now we'll go into 45, 5 times. So 5 will go here. Now we'll go here five times. Hey. Now we'll go here six times. And now we'll go here five times. So 65. So we have 65 over 100. 65 over 100. Which is the same as 0 0.65. Then 0.65 Let me check one. Let me check one. So Okay, so, so it's rather 605, 605, yeah, we have to leave a place value there, so it will go 605 times, so 60, 605, so 605 over 100, that will give you 6.05, so the answer is B. The area of a rectangle is 18 centimeters square. If one of each side is 2 cm long, find its perimeter. So we have a rectangle like this. And the area is 18 cm square. If one side is 2, find its perimeter. So we need to find this one. So we know that area is length times width. Is equal to 18 so the width will be the length will be equal to 18 by 2 which is 9 so the parameter is the distance around the figure so we add all 9 plus 2 plus 9 plus 2 that will be 18 plus 4 
b is equal to 22. A trader bought 100 tubers of yam for Ghana cities N each. All the yams were sold at M each. Find a profit. So the cost price will be cost price will be equal to 100 M. And all the yams were sold at M each. So that will be equal to selling price will be 100 M. The profit will be selling price minus cost price, which is 100 M minus 100 N. So if you factor it, you get 100 into bracket M minus N. The correct answer is A. Find a simple interest on 600 Ghana cities, which was saved for eight months at 5% per annum. So eight months is equal to how many years? Eight out of 12 months, yes. So a simple interest is given by principal, which is 600 times time, which is eight over 12 times rate, which is 5%. So 100 will go into 600 how many times? 6 times. Then 6 will go into 12 how many times? 2 times. Then 2 will go into 8 how many times? 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20. So it's 20, you cannot see this. If the median of the numbers 9, 10, 12, x, 20, and 25 is 14. Find the value of x. So median, 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 median. The numbers in the middle. The numbers in the middle. So we have 9, 10, 12, x, 20, 25. So, so the median is 14. So 2 on both sides. So we have 2 in the middle. So 12 plus x over 2 is equal to 14. And 12 plus x will be equal to 14 times 2, which is 28. So x will be equal to 28 minus 12. So what is 28 minus 12? That will give you 16. So the answer is b. What is the highest common factor of 24, 32, and 64? Let's express them as prime factorizations. So 2 times 2, 24 is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Then 32 is like it's like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Then 64 is like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So the highest common factor, we pick the lists of them. Of the factor that is common to all of them, which is 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is common to all. Good. So that will be 4. The answer is 4. A car covered a distance of 150 kilometers at a speed of 18 kilometers per hour. Find the time taking. So speed is equal to distance over time taking. So what is the distance here? 150 kilometers. The time we don't know. What is the speed? 18 kilometers per hour. So T will be equal to 150 over 18. 150 over 18. 
that will be so we can go three 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 here six three here fifty so three here fifty so how many times will six go into fifty eight so eight hours we are left with We are left with um, two out of six minutes. Two out of six hours. Two out of six hours. So, two out of six hours is like 20 minutes. Ten. So, it will be eight hours, 20 minutes, which is D. Express 134.78 correct to the nearest tenth. Tenth means to one decimal places. So one decimal place. This is the tenth. This is the hundredth. This is the ones. This is the tens. This is the hundred. So the tenth is this. We look at the hundredth, then we run up. So it will be 134.8. So the correct answer is C. Expand this 7R minus 5 into 3R plus. So we are going to take this one and multiply by all of this. So 7R into bracket 3R plus 4. Then minus 5 into bracket 3R plus 4. So now let's expand this and this. That will give you the 21. 21R squared. And 7r plus that plus it will be 28r. Then this and this will give you minus 15r. Then this and this will give you minus 20. So let's go. This will be 31. Is it 21 or 31? I was going to write 21 and I went to write 31. So 21r squared. 28r minus 15. That will give you 13, eh? positive 13R. So plus 13R minus 20. So the correct answer is the first one. An amount of 375,000 was needed to build a clinic for a community of 12 towns. Each community contributed 25,000. If the district assembly also contributed 30,500, how much more is needed to build a clinic? So how many communities were there? How many towns were there? 12 towns. And each, each of these 12 towns contributed 25. So we need to multiply the 25,000 by 12. So that will give you 5, 2, that will be 10. Now, 5, 1, 5, so 6. Then, we have 6, 2, 4, eh, 2, 2, 4, 2, 1, 2. So, that will give you um, 0 here. And this will give you 10. This will give you 3. So, 300,000. 300,000. The, the 12 towns, the 12 towns will get 300,000. And the district assembly added 30,000. 30,500. So 300,000 plus 30,500 will be 330,000. 330,500. Now, how much more is needed? We need to take away 330,500 from the amount they need to raise up. So let's do that. 375,000 minus 330,500. So how do we do that? We are going to borrow. You borrow one from here. That one is equivalent to thousand. So we bring it to this position here. Yeah. 
then we borrow again from here then that will be when you borrow again from here we are left with nine so when you bring that one here it's like thousand so we borrow again from here which is nine so that one is like hundred okay okay now we can we can now subtract sorry we can now subtract so this will be zero zero now here we are having five here then we are left with four here so four four here and we are left with four again so it will be 44,500. A box can take 12 pencils. If 156 pencils are packed to such box, how many boxes will be fully packed? So we need to divide 156 by 12. 156 by 12. So we know that 12, 12 is 144. So So this will give you so twelve will go here. That is one. Then we are left with three. So that three is like thirty. So thirty-six. Twelve into thirty-six is three. So the correct answer is this. Thank you for watching up to this point please don't forget to subscribe share with your friends and also don't forget to like the video and add it to your playlist thank you for watching